Hey guys, KJ Stella here. Back at you with another garage sale video. Today we're going to the Bro Bridge Townwide Garage Sale. She's excited. Hope you are excited to see what I found. This is the first garage sale of the day. The first time I pick up is this little <laughs> motion activated string, I guess, with lights. It's a really cool item. I've seen it before in other people's videos, so I do pick that up for, I think it was like two or three bucks. I continue to look around. This one had a ton of stuff. It had video games as well, but none of them were worth, uh, they were basically, you know, action fig or action video games or sports video games that weren't worth any money. But I did look some of the sports ones up because you never know which ones of those might be worth it. But I continue to look. There's also a bunch of outside as well. There may have been more, but I looked as hard as I could for stuff, and all I found was this one item. So stop number one, which was really early in the day, I found this really cool item right here. This is actually one, I would not have known what this was, but I've watched Kayla the Homeschooling Picker, I've watched her videos. It's actually a device that does this. You can kind of see the colors reflecting. Uh, you can control the speed. You can go f make it go really fast. You can compact it like this and make it go like that. Or, you know, it's just really cool, like, light show thing. I think it's worth probably 70 or $80 at least. Uh, I'm not going to turn it off. <laughs> but it doesn't have the battery thing on the bottom, unfortunately, but it still works. Perfectly good condition. Uh, I think I paid, like, 2 or 3 bucks for that. That was the only thing I got at that one garage sale, but to turn 2 or 3 bucks into 70 or 80 I still haven't sold. I haven't even listed this thing yet because I haven't brought myself to list it. It's so cool. Um, and I might just keep it for myself for a little while, but like I showed you, it does work, and I was able to test it and make sure it works. So that's pretty good for stop one. This garage sale happened probably uh, like four months ago now, at least. <laughs> but I've been saving the footage just whenever I needed some footage and to try and see if any of the items would sell or not. Um, I've sold some of the items that are in this video. So here's to the next clip. Stop number two is short. I pick up those five little pumpkins and the Taz and Bugs Bunny. Salt, salt and pepper shakers but that's all i pick up at that sale and i show you a little bit more of stuff but nothing there appealed to me so all i got that day was just those two items um, if you see something else that looked interesting let me know in the comments so in this clip i pick up a couple items those candy pumpkin dishes whatever you want to call them and i also picked up the taz and buzz salt shaker things Though the salt shakers have sold, but they only sold for like 11 or 12 bucks, and I think they got returned because they got damaged in shipping, so that one's a wash or a loss. Uh, the pumpkin candy dishes, I have them listed. I had them listed at like $70, and they had zero views, zero watchers, so I just lowered the price to $50. We'll see if they sell or not eventually. I uh, probably had them listed too high. I, remember, I based it off of a comp that I saw uh, that I think like one sold, two sold for like 20, so I was thinking, well, five or six is going to sell for 70, you know. Maybe I should break them up into lots. I don't know. Uh, but either way, those are the two items I picked up, or the two lots of items I picked up at that garage sale. One sold, unfortunately got returned, and the pumpkins I only paid 10 cents for each or so, so there's really not that big of a risk to buy in them, but that's it for that clip. This is the second best sale of the day. I already had a couple items from here sell. I got some puppets, I got this Bop at Extreme, I got some action figures that came out of the bin that's shown down here for like 25 cents each. I do pass on this glove I'm about to show. I did look it up and it wasn't worth it, but gloves can be good money. This might be one of the better finds from this garage sale trip. Uh, the little bag y'all saw sitting there was a bunch of action figures. You can see the little tub at the bottom when I'm scrolling on the camera. Uh, those action figures sold for like 60 or $70. They're a bunch of Dragon Ball Z. So that was a really cool find there. There's also some Disney Vinylmations, but those haven't sold yet. I have them listed individually. I need to lower the price on them probably a little bit. Also picked up <clears throat> something I probably shouldn't have picked up as well. I'll always share everything I pick up, even if it's not good. This little puppet marionette, whatever, or not marionette, but this little puppet on strings, uh, it's a dragon, it's supposed to be. They said they got them at Disney, so I thought they were going to be, you know, decent. I paid five bucks each, shouldn't have. I got two of those, this one and a bald eagle type one. Neither one is sold yet, and uh, yeah, they probably weren't worth picking up, and storing them's not fun, because you've got to try and keep the, str the string from the other one, the eagle's gotten tangled, so trying to keep this one untangled at the moment uh, while I show it to y'all, and I think that was it for that clip yeah that's it for that clip uh probably one of the better ones i've sold like i said the dragon Z's. also the bop it extreme i don't know if i've sold that yet or not i think i needed to get a screwdriver to be able to test it and i never actually got that so i have no idea where that is at this point but it's somewhere in this house eventually i'll find it and list it and that that'll definitely make me some money bop it extreme probably sells for 30 to 40 maybe a little bit more than that even so yeah not a bad pickup there this garage sale is all electronics that item right there that item right there, it's a CD 
five disc CD changer and then a VHS player as well for three and two dollars and fifty cents. It's hard to pass on that kind of stuff at those prices. Even if they don't work, uh, it's not that big of a risk. And the profits on those can be pretty good. Uh, if you're willing to ship the big items, you can make some pretty good profit on items like that if you find the right box. At the next garage sale, I find a couple media items. I saw that first little keypad thing. I think that sold for like 15 or 20. Not much there, but I paid 50 cents. Also pick up some stuff that I don't usually pick up because it's not fun to ship. This Sony 5-disc CD changer. It sells for around 70 to 80 dollars based on the comps I'm seeing. There was one that sold for like 115. That was actually the most recent sold, but uh, I think it came with the manual and the remote. This one just comes with the remote. But for three dollars, which is what I paid for that, um, I decided to take it on that day because I wasn't finding too much else. Uh, I found the good stuff at the Dragon Ball Z stuff, but I hadn't found the best items yet, which I'm going to show in the next clip or two. But uh, I've picked this up. I picked up that Sanyo as well. That one's probably worth around 50. It doesn't cost too much to ship. I did test them. They do work. So at least they have that going for them. They do work. But yeah, those clips, uh, pretty good finds there. I mean, it's good profit. You just have to be willing to ship the items. And this isn't too big. It's probably, uh, you know, 12 by 14 by 4. So I have boxes that I can ship that in. I just got to make sure I pad it whenever I ship it. So that's it for that clip. On to the next one. This is definitely the best garage sale of the day. Obviously, anytime you find Cutco, it's really good. Uh, especially when you can find two things of Cutco. <laughs> I already sold that bottom one for like 150 or 200 bucks. I'll talk about that in the summary. I do pick up a lot of the silverware that's also sitting there. They wanted like two or three bucks for the bags and the Cutco, so I couldn't pass that up. I do check that pot as well. It wasn't any good brand or anything. I thought it might have been uh, La Crusade at first, but it wasn't worth it. wasn't La Crusade. I do pick up some plush as well. They're over to the right, but I don't film that, unfortunately. <laughs> but here's the summary of what those items are worth. So these are the best finds of the sale, obviously, if you saw that brand right there. And anytime you see the brand, Cutco, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this one, they both said Cutco. Anytime you see the brand Cutco, you should pick it up. I listed the other one. It already sold for like $180 to $200, something like that. This one I have not listed yet just because I wanted to have it to show for the video. And there's also one or two imperfections with the knives uh, on the ends of the knives. This one's actually, I think this one, yeah, this one's actually broken if you can see that broken on the tip. I've heard Cutco will actually uh, fix them for you, but whenever I looked into it, it looked like it was more of a, like, replace. It wasn't really, I don't know, there was something, there was some caveat to it if you're not the original owner. Um, but, yeah, this is a set of five, five knives for Cutco, and the little knife as well. I'm trying to get this one to fit back down so I don't hurt myself. Uh, but, yeah, and then this little tiny one, this is, set's probably worth around 150 to 200 as well. So anytime you pick up Cutco, it's a good thing. Um, Cutco sells amazingly well, even used like those. And whenever I actually went to check out, uh, the lady, they said like, you know, two or three bucks for the knives or whatever. And I also got all those, I got some of the silverware as well, those bags of silverware, Oneida. Not sure if I sold any of those yet because I'm not sure what brand those were. I probably sold them though. You know, Oneida sells really well. If you find Oneida and you find it in a set, you should pick it up. And you can look up the pattern pretty easily online. Especially at a garage sale, they're usually like three bucks for the whole thing. Thrift stores are usually like 25 cents per knife or per item. But at garage sales, it's usually three bucks or five bucks for the whole thing. So really good there. And uh, like I was saying, I went up there, bought them. And as I was walking away, I was going to my car because I actually got some plush at this sale as well. I didn't show it on film. I didn't film it, I mean. But I did have some decent plush. Secret Life of Pets, probably worth around 40 to 50 whenever you combine all of them together. But the lady said, you shouldn't sell Cutco for that price. Go pull any more. You know, like, if, you find, if, they, if somebody else brings up Cutco, don't give them that price for it. Because one of the ladies at that garage sale, it's like a church sale, knew what Cutco was. The other ones obviously didn't because I was able to get it for like three bucks for that whole thing. I was very excited when I got that. So as with the little light show thing earlier and the Cutco, shout out homeschooling Pickert. <laughs> Learned about both of those items from her. So really good uh, profits there. And uh, on the next clip. So I just picked these things up at a yard sale. I'm not even sure what it is. It's like a little stool. It's not very big. This piece of glass, I got no clue. And I got the Build-A-Bear. Paid five bucks for the glass and five bucks for the little stool. Two bucks for the Build-A-Bear. Mainly got it for the outfit. Tinkerbell, her wand, uh, crown. So yeah, that's why I got the Tinkerbell. It's not really Tinkerbell Bell Bear, I don't think, but it's still Build-A-Bear. So as y'all heard me talk about it, that one, I got some cool items there. This Tinkerbell Build a Bear. Uh, she's currently listed for like thirty-three to thirty or thirty-two dollars, I think. I just lowered the price on Mercari. There's five people that like her listing on Mercari. Zero watchers, zero views on eBay. So eBay is just crazy like that. Sometimes you know it resets every how many days. But I think this will sell eventually. It's a really cool item. 
for two or three bucks, I definitely picked that up. The little stool y'all saw, I don't know if I should have picked that up. It looked mid-century modern to me, and it's I think it's got a couple likes on Mercari as well, but it hadn't sold yet, and I probably have it listed. I think it listed for like 100. I need to lower it to like 75 and see if it'll sell. It won't be too bad to ship. You, just, you know, the box shouldn't be too hard to fit in. It's not that big, really. It's probably 10 by 10 by 8 or 10 by 10 by 10, something like that. And the interesting item I picked up was this glass. Uh, this guy said, I think this was the sale where it was like some... Uh, their mom had this stuff or whatever. It's like a star. It's almost a starfish pattern, but these these three pieces are folded over and these are out. So I don't know if it was like blown glass. Uh, probably was. I guess somebody made this themselves. I don't know how to price this. If you know how to price it, let me know because I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I I think I sent this to some of the glass people I know, and none of them really had any idea exactly what to call it or whatever. But hey. It's a cool item. I still haven't listed it. I only paid five bucks, so if I if it doesn't sell, I can put it at the antique booth that I think I'm gonna start using for a little bit at least and see if it sells there. I don't think it's not an antique item, but not all antique booths have antique stuff. You can hear it. All right, on to the last clip where I don't really find anything great, but let's go to the clip anyways, and then I'll summarize everything in the end. This is the last sale of the day. Some floppy disks for a dollar or so. Uh, this endless cassette for 50 cents. Couldn't pass that up. Uh, I think I picked up one or two more items, but I don't show them here. But I do have one of them listed on Amazon, the floppy disk. They haven't sold yet, so I need to lower the price on there. I do pass on that. It's a sink faucet. <laughs> I don't see it having any value. Uh, if it was new, maybe, but not used. There's also a couple items here that I do pass on. I pass on that video. That was a video game thing. Maybe I could have picked the pillow up, but it probably wouldn't, wouldn't have been worth anything. Here's a summary. So the la at the last sale, I'll pick up a couple pieces of media. The floppy disk and the TDK30 endless cassette thing. That thing sold for like 15 bucks. Nothing great, obviously, but uh, it did sell. The blank floppy disks are still listed on Amazon for like $40. I need to lower the price on that, but for a dollar and then two dollars, think or no, fifty cents. It didn't cost much at all at that sale. I actually ran into a viewer there. So uh, if you remember meeting me there, uh, thank you for saying hi and introducing yourself. Uh, and then I also got a big box TV. They gave it to me for free. It didn't work. <laughs> so I got home, tested that. It didn't work, and I just threw it away. But if that had worked, it probably would have been a good fifty to hundred dollars for free, something for free. But like I said, it didn't work. I think it was a. Uh, Empori, I don't know what brand it was, but I also went to another church sale. I didn't show it in here, but it actually picked up a board game, uh, Carrieropoly. Uh, it's a Monopoly version of some some brand, I think, but it was new in the packaging for dollars. So I picked it up. That's still listed, for, probably gonna sell for like forty bucks. But yeah, that's it for this garage sale. Obviously, Cutco, the big winner in this garage at this garage sale video. Yeah, already sold one. Probably gonna make over three or four hundred dollars on Cutco items alone. Yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite item I found. Probably going to be Cutco. Reminds me of the Cutco or this little light, light show thingy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have it too close together. There we go. Gotta look at this thing again. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.